Digital graphics serve much the same purpose as any other form of graphic. It's just that they are more flexible, take up less space, can be easily changed and are easy to transport over vast distances. Graphics are used in almost every walk of life, from road signs to magazines and newspapers. Graphics needs to be fit for purpose, that is to say they need to do what they are designed to do, be read from a distance in a moving car for example, and be attractive, like the cover of a magazine. Ultimately, they need to quickly communicate meaning, like a toilet sign or workman digging. Good graphics are usually simple and pleasant to look at, using colours that are appropriate for the sector with which they are associated. Blue for big multinational businesses, especially technological businesses. Yellow and red for food, like McDonald's. And green for natural or nature-friendly businesses. It is perhaps no surprise that BP used green and yellow in their logo to imply that they are friendly to the environment. Logos are graphics in their purest, minimalist form, and a great deal of time and effort goes into designing things to look both simple and elegant. Take, for example, the Nike Tick. Color, shape, and composition are just as important in graphic design as in art. There are lots of rules that apply to making graphic images. Some of these rules include color theory, the rule of thirds, the golden triangle, limited palettes, and the use of white or negative space. Color theory works on the color spectrum of light as we see it. There are three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. There are three secondary colors, purple, green, and orange. In addition to that, there are the tones of black and white. Color wheel best illustrates these different colors and all the shades in between. Set out like this, we can look at sympathetic colors, the ones immediately surrounding our chosen color, and contrasting colors, the ones opposite them on the wheel. In fashion, these contrasting colors are often used as complementary colors in that they are used together for aesthetic purposes. As this chart illustrates, it's not quite as simple as the previous statement indicates, but clearly there is a great deal to be considered when choosing the colors you might use when making a digital graphic. The Rule of Thirds. The Rule of Thirds is a basic composition tool taken from art. In artistic composition, it has long been recognized that the placement of objects in a picture will have a direct impact on the way it is viewed. Just as a musician composes music, an artist composes their picture. Certain rules have been derived from this process over many centuries, and one of the most important of these is the rule of thirds. Rules like this are often referred to in media as codes and conventions. It is also considered conventional to frame most subjects in a camera lens according to this artistic rule. Basically, the rule states that you should not place your horizon in the center of the frame. Instead, it should be on the top third or the bottom third. In other words, your landscapes should only be one-third sky or two-thirds sky, but not 50-50. Similarly, objects and people should be framed to the left or the right thirds, not in the center. The Golden Triangle. The Golden Triangle is a convention that is more associated with graphic design than art. In this convention, the composition uses a triangle or a series of triangles that may or may not be overlapping to draw the eye of the viewer in a particular direction. Sometimes the direction is towards the base of the triangle and other times it is the apex, depending on the other structural elements of the composition. This example of the Captain America one sheet uses two superimposed triangles to draw the viewer's eye first from top to bottom and then back to the top. While we assume that we always view images from top to bottom, this is not the case and our eye is often directed by compositional elements, in this case, the Golden Triangle. This same poster allows us to explore yet another convention of digital graphics, the limited color palette. This convention uses only a few colors, often similar colors with different levels of hue and saturation. Hue refers to the place on the color wheel and the colors immediately next to it. 
and saturation refers to the strength of the colour. Think of a kitchen cloth soaking up some red wine, and the more it soaks up, the darker it gets. That is saturation. Interestingly, one of the most used filters in Photoshop is the hue and saturation filter. The limited colour palette, by restricting the colours in a digital graphic, the artist or designer can create a sense of the compositional elements belonging together, while at the same time evoking some level of emotional sense from the whole.